And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Gargoylosaurus, which was a request from Taco Taco via our Discord and Patreon. So thanks. And just a quick reminder that that's one of the perks of being our patron is you get to request dinosaurs. Gargoylosaurus was an ankylosaur that lived in the Jurassic and what is now Wyoming in the U.S., the Morris information. It's estimated to be about 9.8 to 11.5 feet or 3 to 3.5 meters long. And it's estimated to weigh up to 2,200 pounds or 1 ton. The type species is Gargoylosaurus park pinorum. It was described in 1998 by Kenneth Carpenter and others, and the name means gargoyle lizard. The genus name is because its profile looks like a gargoyle. Then the species name refers to Parker and Pinagar, who found the holotype. Do you want to be associated with a gargoyle with the species name? <laughs> yeah, why not? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Gargoylosaurus had a triangular shaped skull. The skull's longer than it is wide, and it had triangular scutes at the rear corners of the skull. It also had a narrow rostrum and a simple direct air passage in the snout, so not complex in the loops as seen in some Cretaceous ankylosaurids. It had a long, narrow, scooped beak and deeply inset cheek teeth. Gargoylosaurus also had four kinds of dermal armor. There were these thick, elongated spines, thin, triangular plates with hollow bases, individual flat, keeled, ovate scutes, and scutes and ossicles that were fused into a single sheet. It also had post-orbital horns and shoulder spikes. Gargoylosaurus had a mixture of ankylosaurid and nodosaurid features. The jugal horns, hollow base spines, and scutes are ankylosaur-like, and the narrow snout is nodosaur-like. The fossils were found in 1996. They found the holotype and two partial skeletons, and the holotype includes most of the skull and a partial skeleton. The fossils were found by Western Paleontological Laboratories and then donated to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. A bulldozer, unfortunately, had damaged the skull. Gargoylosaurus is one of two ankylosaurs found in the Morrison Formation, along with Mimora pelta. In 2013, Kenneth Carpenter and others described a Gargoylosaurus pelvis and found that it had an interesting pelvis because though it was oriented horizontally, it did not flare out like other ankylosaurs. The Gargoylosaurus pelvis is, quote, intermediate in its morphology, they said. Originally, Gargoylosaurus was called Gargoylosaurus parkpinae, but then renamed to Gargoylosaurus parkpinorum in 2001. They had to Latinize the name more. You can see a skeletal reconstruction at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.